Hello everyone, this is Marcus here once again with another Crash video. And surprisingly, we are playing a little bit of Crash Mind Over Mutant. Now, you might be quite surprised that I am playing this. I know a lot of Crash fans do not like this game, but I personally quite like it myself. But I am not really here to play the game so much. I am mostly here to show you something really cool. So, what I am going to do real quick is, I'm just going to back out of the game. I'm using my wireless uh, keyboard and mouse, by the way, my wireless uh, uh, tablet one. And if you go to graphics settings on the Dolphin emulator, and you go to enhancements, you will see that there's an option called stereoscopy. And it says stereoscopic 3D mode. So, if you turn that on, you have different options. So, obviously, you don't get full resolution with 3D, sadly. You have side-by-side, -side, which basically... Uh, puts both images side by side to create a 3D because there's different modes you can set on your TV for different types of 3D. So there's side by side, there's top and bottom, and there's anaglyph, which is the old red and cyan glasses, which I don't know why you'd want to use them for 3D. If you haven't got a 3D capable display, it might be something worth messing about with. And there's also NVIDIA 3D Vision, which can get you full resolution, although mine doesn't support full resolution, but Unfortunately, I cannot do that because my computer uh, sadly has two video cards. Uh, it has an Intel and NVIDIA card in it. And basically, the NVIDIA card renders everything. And the Intel card, well, the onboard graphics pretty much uh, just draws the image on the display and displays the image. So, unfortunately, NVIDIA 3D Vision does not work with my computer. So anyway, we're going to go to side-by-side -side options. And we also have depth and converge alterations. So you can alter the depth of the 3D. And you can also alter how far things are, uh, let's say, in or out of the screen. Obviously, I like the pop-out effect, so I've increased that a little bit more. Now, you can mess with these settings as much as you want. But basically, this is what you are going to get. So now, if we go back into full screen mode, you'll notice that both images are squashed and side-by-side. -side. Now, that is totally normal that I know it might seem strange but if I just grab my remote real quick and I press the 3d button and I go to side by side and there you have it side by side 3d and Crash Mandarin and Mutant is now in 3d same as lots of other Wii games can also be played in 3d games well also Dolphin but it's uh, so there, there you have it. So if I put my glasses in front, if I just turn them on and sync them real quick, you will now see. That the image is properly displayed. So that's through one of the lenses and that is, of course, through the other lens. So the picture is displaying properly in 3D. So if I was to put the glasses on now, I can see it looks like I'm looking through a window. Now that is really cool. That is like proper good 3D effect. Now that I've altered some of the settings, obviously it didn't look very good out of the box, but anyway, here we are, Crash Mode that Mind of a Mutant, playing in 3D. So now I'm just going to walk around casually here. Of course, I'm not really playing the game seriously, but yeah, basically, as you can see, the game is fully playable in 3D. Now, it might look a little bit blurry and sort of bad visuals. Now, this is pretty cool. Obviously, you can't see it on the video, but that mojo that you see it on the bridge is actually sticking out of the screen a little bit, which is kind of cool. But as you can see, both images look ghosty, like, like what you'd see, let's say, in the cinema if you took off your glasses. Now, this is proper 3D. Now, do ignore any sort of banding or striping that you're seeing on the screen. That is completely normal. That is not happening on the projection in my eyes, uh, what you can see in person. It is just how the camera is picking up because of the refresh rate. Obviously, the glasses do have a bit of a flicker to them, which you cannot see in person, but you can see it, of course, on the video, as you can probably see right now. Now, this was what I found really cool. Now, if I stand here, now, look, on a, you can't see this, but you really wish you could see it. This is pretty cool. Right. Where this... About now? Crash on the Titan on this rotating platform is literally sticking out in the middle of the room. That, the 3D effect on this is just, wow, I mean, it's just no complaint. I never actually thought that I'd have any incentive to 
pretty much replay through this game, but now that I've got it working in 3D, it actually works pretty well. Now, one thing I'm going to say is when objects appear overhead, it does make your eyes go funny, and it does look sort of like really weird. I'm not going to lie, but the thing is, the 3D works perfectly. And by the way, I'm also playing this using the DualShock 4 controller. I don't know if you're actually seeing that, but yeah, yeah. That's the DualShock 4 for the PS4, which I've linked to my PC through DS4 Windows. So obviously the 3D looks really good. So, there are some parts that have looked really good in the game. Obviously, in-game cutscenes look really bad. The, the visuals are really smeared. It makes your eyes go really bad and stuff like that, which is a real shame, really. I mean, I don't understand why that's happened. But, this game was not intentionally designed for 3D. So, do please keep that in mind. So... Uh, you might see in here that the visuals are a little bit green. Now, you can put the glasses on here and you can see that the green tint is gone. Because obviously the glasses, the DLP Link glasses, which is the ones I'm using, are filtering that out. Now, um, what I had to do is I had to tweak some settings a little bit. You know, let's say brightness, contrast, uh, to sharpen it up a bit. Because obviously you're not getting the full resolution. And there's also saturation settings because the picture did look a little bit flat and lifeless before. So what I've done is I've increased all of the saturations to 20. Just as an example. Uh, but obviously you can tweak the settings until you get them perfect. Now, no settings are ever going to be perfect. I'm just going to put this out to you right now. I mean, you can adjust the visuals and the settings all you like. But you're never going to get perfect results. So, uh, and that, that accounts for anything. Not just uh, picture settings, so... Now, certain parts of the game, let's say during the Coco boss battle, uh, where she was shooting the balls, they were literally flying out into the middle of the room. I'm not going to lie, that was, that was pretty cool. Now, you would not imagine that this game would play so well in 3D. So yes, the, guys, there you go, there you have it. Crash Mind Over Mutant in 3D. Now, would you believe that? Obviously, as well, you can play other games in 3D, as I'm going to show you right now. And as you can also see right here, we also managed to get Mario Kart working as well in 3D, which looks really cool. I mean, obviously you got the extra depth, and the kart actually looks like it's sticking out of the screen. Now, as I said before, you can alter how far in and out things are on the screen. I like things to pop out a little bit, hence why I like 3D. But basically, once again, 3D, as you can see, fully working on the Dolphin emulator in Mario Kart. So now we're going to try another game real quick. And just to prove it guys, also as you can see, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the GameCube. So GameCube ge games work well as well. So as you can see, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess also works pretty good in 3D and the 3D effect is pretty good. So that is another game that works on Dolphin in 3D as well. So yes guys, there you have it. Crash Mind Over Mutant, uh, as well as many other games for the GameCube and the Wii, working in 3D, which is really, <laughs> took me as quite a surprise. I did not know that Dolphin Emulator could do that. And the good thing is as well, like I said before, you do not need a 3D capable video card to do this. All you need is a, uh, a 3D capable display and a computer powerful enough to at least emulate the Dolphin emulator. Oh, and um, those mojos are stuck out of the screen again. Obviously, you cannot see that on the display, but as you can see with how far set apart they are, that goes to show that there is a lot of depth in this 3D. So, as you can see, 3D works really well on this. That is something that I just wanted to make a video of because it actually took me quite by surprise. Here you go. So, that has been Crash Mind Over Mutant fully working in 3D. So, that is actually really cool. So, there you have it guys. I hope you all found this video quite entertaining. And thank you so much for watching. This is, of course, a good way to play your old Crash games. And old Wii games and GameCube games in 3D. Now, 3D is supposed to be dead. Not to me. So, there you have it guys. Crash Mind Over Mutant in 3D.